Me and Tesco are back with another delicious recipe that I know you're gonna love. It's from my brand new cookbook, One, and it's my 50-50 bolognese. Now, I've got some lovely ingredients from Tesco, and I'm gonna show you how I do this. It's super simple, it's really delicious. I know people love bolognese, but I wanna give you my tricks, my tips, my shortcuts. So let's get all of our stuff out, and let's get cooking. You're gonna love this one. So this comes from a chapter in the book called Batch Cooking, and I really believe in batch cooking for saving you time in the month coming up, saving you money, uh, and just being really convenient. Making a big old batch of something, you get extra flavor as well. So let me talk you through these ingredients. First up, a product that I really, really like that you'll get in store is the meat and veg. So this is a brilliant little healthy swap. You know, carry on cooking the things that you always have done, but just get this product, you're getting the veggies in there, and I really like this. I think this is clever. Meatballs, patties, meatloaves, bolognese, ragas, fantastic. So look out for that. Garlic, well, we love that. Um, pancetta is really, really good. Frozen veg, they're nutritious, delicious. It takes a load of chopping and time you know, out of your life. We're using here some green lentils, really healthy. And actually, they just kind of dissolve into this incredible sauce that is delicious, and it's so good for you. Of course, tomatoes and the herb of choice rosemary. So look, let's get all of this in style into this big old pan. So get your biggest batch pan on a high heat. So with the pancetta, I'm just going to take like six thin little rashers like that, slice this up, a nice lug of olive oil into the pan. We're going to begin the story with the pancetta, right? It's smoked, it's savory, it's delicious. You can smell the smokiness. Really, really nice. Get that smoky pancetta golden. Rosemary. So just get your hand on the stalk like this, pull it off, and just finely chop it. it smells amazing. So that'll be frying in that fat that's rendered out of the bacon. Look at that, just look at the color. They go heavy on the black pepper. It, it already smells like dreamy. Then I'm gonna go in with a mincemeat, two packs of veg and mincemeat a really convenient way of getting more veggies into your life. Give it a nice little mix up, and for 15 minutes, we're gonna get some color on this. So look in that pan, it's had about 15 minutes. So this sound, listen to that. That's a good sound. The amount of people that I've seen rush, like getting the minced meat in, getting the wet tomatoes in, and it's just kind of this blonde bubbling, nice thing, but it's never genius, right? So this color, is gonna help us get to genius. As that kind of getting to that point, now I'm gonna peel and finely slice eight cloves of garlic. That's gonna give it that incredible flavor. So now we're gonna go in with the garlic. Oh, the smell. Now, let's talk veggies. Frozen base vegetable mix. It's fantastic. I love having some of these in the freezer for when I'm just cracking on with stuff. So um, frozen veg, super nutritious, no compromise. You haven't got to do any of that peeling, any of that chopping. So this is super, super convenient. And even if you just want a handful, you can put it straight back in the freezer and you waste nothing. So stir in that veg, and then we're gonna cook it for another 15 minutes, giving it a stir once in a while. It's gonna bring out all the natural sugars in the veggies. And again, it's gonna amplify delicious flavor and color. So once you've got that gorgeous golden color out of the veggies and the mincemeat, little secret ingredient, balsamic vinegar. So just put a nice little swig in there, let it cook away. But what you're left with is just this gorgeous sweet and sourness that works so well with a bolognese. And now we do the wet stuff. So first up, green lentils. Juice and all goes in. They're really, really good. Fantastic source of protein. We'll stir that in. And then very importantly, we're gonna go in with tin tomatoes. Now, if you can try and get the plum tomatoes, you're gonna to get way more flavor. So I just scrunch those tomatoes through my hands. Nearly got myself. Four tins of tomatoes. Fill two of those tins up with water. Get that water in there. Give it a nice little stir. This is gonna make loads of portions. And then you can bag it up, fridge it up, freeze it up, and you've got these opportunities to do quick meals later on in the month, really quick. So bring it to the boil, turn it down to a simmer, cook that for about two hours, and then we'll check it, and I'll show you exactly how it's supposed to look. Happy days. So here we are, after two hours, you've got your beautiful 
blipping bolognese. Because now is really, really important. We want to just get that seasoning right. So let's have a little try. Oh, you can just tweak the salt and pepper. That bolognese is such a comforting, beautiful thing. Absolutely delicious. I love to bag this up or put it in little Tupperware pots and freeze it so that I've got an amazing dinner like four or five minutes away any day of the month. So look, that is my beautiful 50-50 bolognese from my brand new cookbook one. If you go into the book, you'll see that every batch cook recipe has a whole bunch of different expressions that you can do that are exciting and you can fit into your busy lives. I've also done two beautiful expressions of things exclusively for Tesco that you can make with this beautiful bolognese. One is a gorgeous bolognese and gnocchi bake. Just get it in the oven, so good. The kids absolutely love it. And the other one is a stuffed peppers bolognese. Really beautiful, colorful, and it's really nice in the middle of the table. So guys, if you want to see my recipe for my 50-50 bolognese, plus my two exclusive expressions of using this in the most beautiful way, then simply go to tesco.com forward slash recipes.